All right, how's it going everyone? As always, God bless you and thank you for being here and welcome back to Candy Coral Aquatics. So today we're gonna to be talking about Harlequin Shrimp. For those of you that just saw the video I uploaded just a little while ago, uh, you got a sneak peek at the clownfish that I added, okay? One is the grade A snowflake, the other one is the midnight clown. Having a lot of fun with these guys. I'm really happy to have some fish in the tank. So let's get back on topic. I'm gonna to try to keep this video short. Let's talk Harlequin Shrimp. So what do you need to know about Harlequin Shrimp? For those of you that are wanting this kind of shrimp in your aquarium, because they are very unique, not too many people have them, and they're just, they're absolutely gorgeous. Now, the reason that a lot of people don't have them is because of their care requirements. They're an obligatory eater, which means they only eat certain things. Certain things that they eat is starfish. Now, to the best of my knowledge, they will eat all starfish, so you can't really have any starfish in your tank at all. Sand stifting, some of your linkias, uh, the decorative stars, chocolate chips, anything like that. If you have any starfish at all, uh, more than likely they're going to be consuming these stars. So just know if you do have these shrimp, uh, you can't have any other starfish in the tank. Now let's talk about feeding. How do people feed them and what's the most effective method? So I'll tell you what, uh, just about 99.9% .9 of everybody that I have talked to, uh, both at fish stores and hobbyists have told me. They say that they feed chocolate chip stars. Uh, now here's my problem with that and here's why I don't do that and I found another successful uh, means of keeping these shrimp. So number one, chocolate chip starfish is going to run you about $15. Now that's that, not very much money when we're talking starfish. However, when you got to spend 15 bucks every week to feed a shrimp, it gets pretty expensive. Okay, now here's problem number two with the chocolate chip star. Um, it's, a, it's a large starfish. If the shrimp kills it and starts eating on it, it's going to immediately start decaying in the water. Um, it's going to pollute your water quality, okay? And if you have a smaller tank, that's that's really not very very good, obviously, for a lot of reasons. Now, some people will cut off a leg and throw the rest of the starfish in the sump. I find this problem with two re for two reasons. Number one, I believe it's cruel. And number two, again, if that starfish dies in your sump and you don't know it, it's going to poison the water in the aquarium, leading to loss of life, uh, loss of life else elsewhere. Excuse me. So here's what I do, guys. Um, well, I guess in problem number three is if the starfish gets away from the shrimp, uh, chocolate chip stars are known to eat coral. So you you, you really don't want to be putting a starfish that's uh, uh, you know going to eat and consume coral in your reef tank. Now here's what I do. I feed Astrea stars. Astrea stars are the little white, sometimes they're kind of brownish grayish starfish that accumulate on the glass and the rock work and they reproduce like crazy. Um, obviously I have none that are reproducing in my system because my shrimp eats them. It's a very effective form of food. It's a safe form of food. They will not eat your coral regardless of what people are telling you. I've never had a problem. As a matter of fact, a couple years ago I had a 65 gallon long reef tank that had more coral than 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 I have here. And I had probably 200 of those guys in there because they just got out of hand and reproduced and reproduced and reproduced and I never saw them once eat any of my coral. Um, so I don't believe that that's true. Number two, it's cost effective. Cost effective, uh, it's, uh, certain fish stores will sell them for 10 cents a piece. Others might be as high as 25 cents. But still, four for a dollar, you go out, you buy 10 or 15 of them, you throw them in the tank, he's good for almost the entire month. Okay, He's probably going to eat maybe one or two a day. Uh, give or take. So you're good for a while. The other thing is they're a very easy starfish to find. Uh, most of your hobbyists, other people that have been in this for a while and have good established reef tanks, nine times out of 10, they're going to have Astrea stars. They just come in on live rock and people are willing to give them away because they believe that they eat coral when I don't think that they really do. And uh, number two, they're an eyesore. They reproduce really fast. People just want to get rid of them to help clean up the reef tank a little bit. Okay, so that's a that's another thing you can you can find them uh, pretty easily. Now the other thing that's good is I'm not entirely sure if a sh the shrimp eats the entire starfish or if they eat just eat the suction cups that are on the bottom. Um, I I guess I've really not paid attention enough to notice if they're eating the entire star or not. If they do eat the entire star, I mean, it's a perfect little mouthful for them. Um, it, it's a perfect amount. Their stomachs are obviously, the sh shrimp stomachs are obviously very small, so they don't, really don't need much more than one Astrea star. If they're just eating the suction cups or the bottom tentacles and they're letting the rest of the starfish decay and break down, it's a very tiny little animal to break down in your water. It's not going to affect your water quality at all. Okay, so that's my tips, guys, on how to keep um, a Harlequin shrimp. As far as water conditions and parameters, um, it's going to be the same as pretty much any of your other ornamental shrimp, okay? In this tank currently, I have a cleaner shrimp, I have some sexy shrimp, and then I also have that Harlequin shrimp. Um, he's actually over here on my Zoa garden, which you guys aren't going to be able to see right now because uh, the way that the camera's facing. 
Um, so I hope this has helped, guys, and do your research. Make sure you have the starfish in your area or, or that you can get your hands on some because, like I said, that's the only thing that they will eat. I did have two in here, a male and a female. The female killed the male, as far as I am aware, because I haven't seen them, and I know they were fighting. Uh, sometimes it happens, but um, it is what it is. So now I just have the female that's in here, and she's she's doing really well. So I hope this helps, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below, and take care. Goodbye.